Once upon a time, in a snug little house, not too far away from a busy little town in the northwest Georgia mountains, lived a lovable little puppy named Finn, with soft caramel fur that felt like a warm hug and big shiny eyes that sparkled with happiness and curiosity, Finn was a special puppy indeed. But what made Finn even more special was his dream, a dream that made his sweet little heart flutter every time he looked up at the wide blue sky. You see, Finn's favorite thing to do was watching the birds. Finn loved watching the birds that danced among the branches of the tall oak tree in his backyard. Every day, he'd sit in his backyard and look up at the trees where the birds chirped, flapped their wings, and did somersaults in the air. Their graceful flights and joyful songs both amazed and impressed Finn. I really wish that I could fly just like them, Finn often thought to himself, sighing as he watched the birds up in the trees. One cool and sunny morning, while Finn was exploring his backyard, his paw brushed up against something new, something hidden in the tall, green grass. It was a feather, but not just any ordinary feather. This feather was different. It was special. He could feel it right away as it touched his toes. It shimmered and glowed, and he lowered his head to get a better look at it, almost as if it held some kind of secret. When Finn touched it again with his nose, a soft musical voice whispered to him, make a wish, little Finn. Excitedly, Finn wasted no time and quickly closed his eyes and made his wish I wish I could fly like the birds, he whispered to the magical feather. And then something absolutely amazing happened. Finn felt different. He felt lighter than a leaf. In fact, he was floating. And before he knew it, his paws were no longer touching the ground, and he was soaring into the sky. Finn was flying. Finn flew high above the trees, feeling the wind ruffle his fur as the sun warmed his body. It was a dream come true. He flew through the sky, joining flocks of birds as they painted the sky with their colorful feathers. Finn's heart overflowed with happiness. As his morning adventure in the sky continued, Finn discovered a world he'd never seen before. He met playful squirrels swinging from tree branches and wise owls perched on tall old trees he even played tag with a fluffy cloud that giggled like a child. The joy in his heart was boundless. But as the day went on, the sun eventually began to slowly dip below the horizon. Finn was happy, but tired, and he soon realized that he missed his home and the ones he loved most. With a heart full of love and a tired but happy body, he turned around to fly back toward his cozy little house. The magical feather he still held in his paw gently guided him down and he landed softly in his garden just as the stars 
began to twinkle in the twilight sky above. Finn looked at the magical feather he was holding, and with a grateful smile, he whispered, Thank you for this amazing adventure, magical feather. But for me, no place beats the place where I live. The blue feather twinkled brightly one last time, and then, just like that, it changed back into an ordinary feather. Finn knew that sometimes some dreams were meant to come true, but just for a little while. But then, they must go back to being only dreams. But Finn's most special wish had been granted, and he had discovered the joy of flying. He would never forget that. But he also realized no matter how amazing his wish was, that the love and warmth of his own home were really the most precious things of all to him. With a heart full of joy and contentment, Finn went inside his home, greeted his family, and curled up in his own cozy bed. His dreams that night were filled with the memory of his flying adventures And, as he drifted off to sleep, he knew, while he couldn't fly like a bird ever again, that he had found something even more precious, the love that filled his heart for his family, made his dreams soar. So, if you ever find yourself looking up at the sky and wishing for something extraordinary, just remember the story about Finn the Flying Puppy. He learned that the most extraordinary thing of all was the love he carried in his heart for his family and his special dreams that made his imagination soar. Sweet dreams, dear little ones, and may your dreams be filled with love and wonder just like Finn's magical adventure in the sky. Thank <laughs> you.